Hi everyone, this is Dr. Vajit Shapir with another interesting case on ECG. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. But before we go into the detail, just pause your video, have a close look at the ECG, note down your findings with yourself, try to make a diagnosis and at the end of the video compare your findings and diagnosis with the discussion done in this video so starting with the discussion on this ECG as you know the first step is to look for the presence of upright P waves before each QRS complex in rhythm strip which we can find here that there is an upright P wave before each QRS complex in the rhythm strip so it implies that this is a sinus rhythm. Next step is obviously the heart rate. For heart rate, we select a QRS complex which lies on a broad vertical line. And between this QRS complex and next QRS complex, we calculate the QR large boxes as 300, 150, and 100. So the second QRS complex here, it lies between 100 and 150. So the heart rate is around 115 to 120 beats per minute. And for axis, we look at the lead one and ABF, where in lead one, the QRS complex is directed upwards and in ABF, the direction of QRS complex is upwards as well. So the axis is normal in this EC. Next going, going forward, we can note that there are intermittent pauses between the QRS complexes like one here. There is another pause between two QRS complexes here. There is another pause between these two QRS complexes. So the next question is, what is the reason behind this irregularity in the rhythm or these pauses in the rhythm? One of the causes of irregular, irregularity is obviously the presence of atrial fibrillation which we have already excluded due to the presence of P wave. Other causes include the presence of premature atrial conductions which are not being conducted also known as non-conducted PACs. There could be some kind of AV block such as Wenke Beck or Mobitz 1 AV block or second degree AV block. So we'll find out what is going wrong over here. So, Firstly, we'll just look at the PR intervals in conducted beads. We can see that the PR interval in the conducted beads, it is constant. So among these three differentials, we can confidently say that this is not a first degree, AV, uh, this is not a Mobitz 1 AV block because the PR interval is constant and it is not the case in case of Mobitz 1 AV block. Next, we have to differentiate between Mobitz 2 AV block uh, and non-conducted PACs. For that, we have to follow the P waves. Let's start from here. We can see that there is a P wave here, another P wave here, there is another P wave here, another conducted P wave, another one, and this is another one which is being conducted. So by looking at the pattern or the rate of P waves, we can definitely say that this is another P wave here, which is in between these two conduct conducted P waves. Because the, uh, because the T wave preceding this, uh, this beat, we cannot see a definite P T wave here. So this is most probably or uh, this is definitely a P wave here. Now the important thing in assessing the pauses in this kind of ECG is to look for the timing of P wave. 
in premature atrial contractions as the name suggests the p wave comes prematurely means that the if the rate of p waves is suppose 300 150 and 100 p is 100 beat per minute the next p wave or the p wave which is being missed it should be less than 100 beats per minute now just let's just calculate the rate in this p wave here if, if the p wave is starting here we can just roughly calculate the rate could be 300 150 and 100 so we can see that the p wave which is being non conducted it is coming at the same time as the previous p wave so this is the only an important point which separates the premature atrial contractions from a uh, mobilis to av block especially in cases where the heart rate is such high now we will uh, see that what is the p to qrs ratio here we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 p waves for 1 2 3 4 and 5 qrs complexes so this is a 6 ratio 5 mobiles to av block now another important thing which can be found on a surface ecg is whether this block is present in his bundle or below that so the pointers toward the presence of this mobiles to av block within the his bundle is presence of a narrow qrs complex in in cases where the block is present below the his bundle the qrs complex should be prolonged similarly in cases of infrahesian blocks the heart rate is usually low and we get up bradycardia along with broad qrs complexes so this is all for today hopefully you like the video for more videos kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned allah hafiz and take care till next time